Let's concentrate on this area over here. I'd like to put in a pump station with a rising main. So let's have a look at that. That'll be at from manual 51, for instance. You could go back one, but I'm just going to go from here. From 51, I'll rise it up and then use rising main pipes along this route here. So 51 and then 1, 2, 3, 4 pipes will be rising main. So we close that. We can go and look for 51. So that'll be over here. And now we just need to go to edit pumps. At this stage, I only need one pump to be set up. So we'll call this um, we'll call this pump uh, station one, and we'll load up a. Uh, file. So let's load up a pump station file. I'm going to go to my pumps, put in this pump here, and if I go now to, so there will be a suction and a delivery pump uh, pipe going in and out. You can set up your storage and your depths for this pump station, and you can also set up the type of pump you're using. It's delivery and head and efficiency you can also set up here. You can see I've got two pumps you can add up to four pumps. We can then close that, and I said 51 will be the one I'll be using, so I'll click on the sewer link there in the property sewer link, and I'm gonna change that to a pump, and I will change that to pump station one. Then uh, I think it was four pipes, as far as I remember. You can actually change all of these, so if I select one, two, three, and four and then I can change their types all of them to rising main and that's perfect we can then just zoom out again so I can run the analysis again just make sure that this previously calculated is not ticked and we can then say finish takes too long you can always switch off the output you'll notice it gives a lot faster if this is closed and we can then go to tools vertical alignments and there you can see the rising main or the pump station and then the rising main is going over the mountain with your nodes being bend points both vertically and horizontally